Hey guys, and welcome back to the new chapter of my epic adventure as Spain on Civilization 5. So, last time, what we were really starting to look at was preparing a, a little army, getting all of that together uh, for a. well, because we want to take Sao Paulo, really, that's our aim. And obviously, the longer we leave it, the harder it's going to going to be, really. So, I can't, what we've established is, I can't really use a naval attack. That's not necessarily going to happen. I may build a couple of ships in Cordoba, uh, because obviously we can use boats in this region, but it would be a bit of a waste because we can't really, well, do anything with them afterwards. So, I'd probably just instantly decommission them. But I can have one there, for sure, and one there, for sure, and I don't know about the these two slots. It's possible. We shall see. I'm also going to test having one there, but I don't know if it will work. So that's something we'll just have to think about. And also, at some point, I have to give um, Sweden a bit of a bloody nose, because they keep doing a really annoying pesky thing with religion and I don't like it they're just going around to all the places in my region and trying to convert it and I'd, I'd really like them to stop if I'm honest so hopefully hopefully we'll get all of that sorted at some point I mean it's nothing really important but it'd just be nice right between Denya. Right then, where's that? Ah yes, our new city from last episode. Yeah, we we, we got given a merchant to Venice, which is interesting, and we purchased this, this city-state as a result of that. So now we basically have free access to this entire island, and we can, well, we can set up a land trade route to Hanoi if we're so pleased. That wouldn't be too shabby. Yeah, no, it was very interesting to see how it all worked, and this whole place is, uh, has already got improved tiles, so I can't really ask for much more. It's a pretty much complete city at the current state it's in. So that's really good. Now then. Okay, that's fine. And we can choose production. What do we want to make in Calpe? That is the question. Not a factory. We'll go with the Colosseum and just pump up the happiness. We're trying to do that pretty much all over the empire. I do want to get a factory in Seville. I think having one there would be very good. And we need three in total to unlock ideologies. And we're currently working on one in Marira. Yep. One in Madrid. And... We're going to have one in Seville. The reason I want one in Seville is because this, I truly believe, will become a very powerful, powerful um, city in my empire. Because I'm not planning to put anything else on this island. As of yes, anyway. I'm planning to just keep it to this. So, that's definitely my plan for this. Anyway, let's have a little whiz around. Oh. Sweet. Hello. Cool. We've met this guy. Um. Right, how much do we have? Okay. We'll leave you there for now. But we have met another city state, which is always really good. Yeah, we'll leave that for now. Um, Gatling gun in Denya. It doesn't really need to do anything, we'll just put it on alert. It's fine as it is. And this worker can't be doing much at the moment, so we'll put that guy to sleep for now. Actually, what we could do, what we could do is, we're going to bring him up into Denya, and then build a road all the way down into Hanoi. That is my plan. Right, crossbowman into Gatling gun. There we are. Perfect. Uh, yeah, just keep on ranged attacking, why not? If we kill it, we get a bit of XP and, and a bit of uh, culture, so 
it's always something worth investing into, I guess, trying to kill barbarians. That I would really recommend doing so. Alright uh, then. So I think, yeah. I'm planning very far ahead right now, but I think once we come to try and take, you know, Sweden, or pester them a bit, we can definitely, well, we can probably really easily t take this city here with with a big uh, naval attack again, just because it's so easily accessible on the coast. It's not, you know, on enclosed waters or anything. So that makes my life a bit easier in that regard. Righty ho ho. I've been given a new unit apparently, so we'll check that out in a minute. Right. Oh, let's see what this is. Nothing. Okay. Right, where's the new unit? Okay, it's a cannon in Toledo. Okay. Not necessarily needing it here, buddy, but thank you anyway. I appreciate it. Uh huh. Let's have a look here. Maybe that. Come on. Let's have a little look around. See what's what. A little bit of um islands. A little bit a few islands around here by the looks near the ice. Nothing interesting though. As you can see there, London looking pretty strong. Not as strong as the capital that the Aztecs have though. But yeah, it is what it is. They're looking nice. Actually, having said that. London is only one size bigger than Seville, and Seville, we built that really late on. We really did. Right, what's hit? What's this? All right. Okay. Everything's dandy there. Barcelona. What do we want to build? Uh, let's build a constabulary. Why not? And we can adopt a policy. All right. So ideology is not available yet. Just we need the three factories to do that, and we'll get there. We, we're not that far away, I don't believe. Now, are we going to try and complete any of this stuff? Um, I think we're going to want to do this because, um. Yeah, we've already got this, but no, completing commerce is good because we always want money. So we want to jump on this for sure. Though I don't really see us using this particular upgrade we just got. But obviously, we have to unlock it to get to the next one. So there we are. Well, we've done what needed to be done, and now our ever faithful workers can continue their merry way over here. Build a farm. Thank you very much. I like it when you do the thing. Right, so we are, that tower is now going to be finished, or soon to be finished. What we could do is perhaps change some of these tiles over into farmland. Because I think it's a bit more important having a big city than you know, silly money, but a city not growing. Right, so we've got, we're up to 7 coal again by uh, collecting up that 3 there, which is all nice and jolly. And I guess we'll just come back here and continue building farms. Why not? Right, so this is done there, whatever that was, just a, just a mine by the looks. And we can we can make a farm here, very good. Right, that can go on a lot now. Yes. We're going to move you up there two turns until the courthouse is finished in Denya. And then we'll have a lot more happiness. I don't know how much we've got at the moment. Can we check, please? Um, so it's a fair bit at the moment. It's like 15 or 16 total. <coughs> so once we've got the courthouse built, we'll be you know, really high up in the happiness levels yet again, so some somewhere I do want to be. Yeah, anyway. 
it's it was very convenient that it when you when you straight up buy the city it doesn't reduce in size at all when you when you um seize your city yourself and take it over with you know uh your units you destroy it basically the size of it is drastically reduced as you can see with uh, Moraira, that was um, I can't I can't even remember what size it was. Um, I was close to twenty, I believe, and then we took it and it dropped to about a size of eleven. With uh, the Merchant of Venice, you just straight up get it as it is, which which is actually very nice. So just having another city that's a size of twelve is always a good help. All right, so Golden Age has ended. I will take a fair while to get back up. Um, and as you can see here, we've only got 280 culture per turn. At one point, we did have you now like 600, and that was because we um, came first in the production of the uh, World Fair, World's Fair. I'm hoping we can do the exact same thing when it comes to the World Games. Whenever we can suggest that, I'm not sure how long it will be. Um. Right, so five turns until we can go into this. That is not going to pass, I can tell you right now. Although I don't really have gems, but... Either way, it's not going to pass, so, um... There you are. Oh, we've been given another new unit. A musketman, okay. Well, that's, that's nice of you. Okay, so now we can start building our road and we're going to move it all the way down to Hanoi set that up and I think we'll be very happy now if we come over here and build a farm we lose two gold but we gain two food and I'm alright with that I really am I don't think we'll find anything of interest up here really doesn't look that way and then we can move this one up yeah there's nothing here for me so we can try and swing inland underneath, but I don't know how close we can get just because of the uh, borders. I think we've pretty much looked at everything we can, so it might just be worth me bringing all my uh, boats back to back to where they belong, really. And it's not it's not a massive rush or anything, because that would be for this which we're not even you know close to considering yet so uh, no worries there just move this boat into the, the port of Toledo that is my plan there and we have a worker we are gonna finally set up some silk oh well we're gonna have to wait another turn but we're gonna set it up soon and then that will really that will help us with a lot of city states and also make we love the king day in more than one city I'm pretty certain are we what, now working this tile? Let me just check. We are. So that's producing. Hang on. How, what's this producing? I can't tell how much faith. Six faith, apparently. Unless it's got um, buildings in it that give faith. Doesn't look like it, though. Alright, so this is giving us six faith, four gold, and I can't even. I can't tell how much. Ah, sorry. I can't tell how much culture this is specifically giving us. I could have just done that. I really could. Okay. Four gold, six culture, and six face. So very nice. Oh, I amaze myself sometimes. I really do. So we built, we built the factory. Or, yes, we built the factory in Moraira. Definitely going to have this as a production city, just like Madrid is. Alicante doesn't matter as much. I wasn't really planning on it. So, why don't you build a caravanserie? Why not? It won't have a maintenance cost. You do that. Then the constabulary and have you. That might be decent to set up. Our empire is looking really large now, compared to everyone else's empire anyway. I mean... Let's have a look up here. These two have been sharing this spot of land for, well, since the beginning of the game, and neither of them have taken each other out yet. They have been at war, but no one has been successful. And as a result, they've not really expanded anywhere. 
if you think back to um, Korea, the very like first few episodes where they had the city here, and then we settled there, and they came down to settle here. We took that, and then finished off the job there. Um, that basically they didn't have any time to expand, so we just took that. And then Brazil was these three, but that's all Brazil needed. They were smashing it. I mean, the amount of wonders that are in in Moira is crazy. Look at all these special buildings. It just it's crazy. So we now have all of those benefits, and I'm very happy about that. Toledo is a size of two. I like it. I like it a lot. Right. Six turns and we'll get the silk set up. Yeah, boy. It's about time. I've been waiting so long to get silk in my empire because my plan was just to let it grow naturally into that tile. But that's just going to take a really long time. So I was then thinking, could I settle a city there? But then that would take away the resources of Madrid and possibly Alicante. I definitely don't want to do that. You want to have a, enough space in between everything. So the quickest thing to do is just settle another city on an, the, the other part of the world, really. Uh, find a map, please. Yeah, we can easily do that for you once uh, we've, we've got everything sorted out in Toledo. We can set up a road into uh, between these two cities and then get a... Um, let's check, hang on. Harbour. Oh, forgetting my words today. Then we can get a harbour set up in Toledo. And then we'll be all connected up. And that'll be dandy. Right, then, yeah. We have the courthouse now, and we're back up in the happiness, which is always nice to see. Um, we could build a university there. Colosseum will give us a bit of happiness, so we'll do that first. Madrid will build an opera house, why not? And what about in Calpe? Uh, a zoo. We can do a zoo. I like the sound of that. Okay, so we're going to bring these boats back over this way. And have them head down towards you know, Mraira and Calpe. But that shouldn't take too long. I mean, they're only there. See what's under the shadows up there a little bit. Won't be anything, but it's always worth a look, isn't it? Yeah, so that's all set up now. I'm surprised at how slowly Javier has been growing. Especially considering when we took it, it had these, you know, already improved. So it was ahead of the game at the time of us taking it. I mean, I can't remember what the size of it was when we took it. But when we took Alicante, or what we renamed to Alicante, that was only a size of one. And now that is absolutely smashing it. I mean, I know that there's a lot of farmland around here, but just the fact that Javier had such a big advantage at the start, it surprises me a little bit. But, hey-ho, doesn't really matter at all, so... Right, this worker just can be back to sleep. We don't really need it at the moment. Uh, and anything else? We, we've nearly improved all the tiles we can all over the empire, to be honest. I mean, there's only the few in um, our new city, Toledo, that need doing. Other than that, though, we're fine. We've improved so many tiles, and we've got pretty much everything set up we need. So look at this, more desiring silk. Well, we're about to get that set up. We really are. And that there's just nothing that can stop us right now. Oh, that is just the worst place for barbarians to live. For them. I mean, it's great for everyone else in the world. But that's... What a rotten bit of luck. Maybe you shouldn't be a barbarian, fool. I would really like snap up that tile and get the coal. I really would. Also, I haven't even looked at the science um, panel this game. Which we really should. Okay, so now we have an indication of what we're doing. I apologise for not putting that up earlier. So we did unlock scientific theory at some point. 
Right, that's good and everything. Then we needed to get, what is it, archaeology we need? No, we're working on electricity first, which is fine. And that will show us where aluminium is. And I'm really hoping there will be a nice bit of aluminium in our borders. We've got a lot of land, so I don't see why there wouldn't be any. Uh, and then to get biology, we do need to do archaeology, but that's alright with me. Then we should probably come back for this. We'll do so. That that won't take long after. But once we've got biology, we get we can see where the oil is. I'm also hoping there's a nice bit of that in the map. Okay. Right. Yes. So we did do the yes, which is what I thought we might do. We did do um, the quest of faith that they were looking for, which is absolutely perfect. Now then, right? How are we looking? We're looking good. We are looking good. Okay. So we choose production here, and we can build a bank and improve our gold once more. I like to do that and build a public school. Let's get you moving, get you in gear. Have you come across like so? And we're nearly back in our land anyway. Right, so that's the farm. Excuse me, come over here and set up the farm. And then you you can't really do much, can you? So sleep. Uh, another farm finished? I like it. I like all the farm we've got set up here. Farmland is so good. But I'm going to end this episode there. Thank you very much for watching. And if you did like this episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And leave any feedback to help me out in the future. Thank you ever so much for watching. And take care.